Hey guys, it's Jan from Jan Video Productions here, and today I'll be doing a little bit of a different video tutorial. Let's get started. Alright guys, so today instead of looking at Final Cut Pro 10, I'm going to be looking at ScreenFlow 4 for Mac here. I've been getting some questions from some of you guys uh, regarding the, the the effects or the motions that I make in these videos, and that's really what this tutorial is all about. I'm going to be showing you how to add video actions to your video and make your video not only easier to understand or better for the viewers to look at, but also look more professional. Let's go ahead and get started and move to the computer. All right, guys, so currently in my project line, as you can see, I have a very simple clip that I do, or a screen recording that I just recorded. Basically me sort of scrolling through some of the pages on my website. A very simple clip, however, is good to demonstrate these features today here. First thing I'm gonna do is get rid of the audio as we do not need that for this, as there is really no audio. So this just leaves us with the uh, video file, makes it a little bit easier uh, to follow as well here. So to add these effects, uh, we're gonna go ahead and make sure the clip is selected first. Then we're gonna go under the little camera tab right here and we're going to add video action. We're going to click this tab right here. As you can see, a little yellow tab has just appeared in front of my um, in front of my meter line here. And from here, we can simply do whatever we want. So let's go ahead and change. We can change the scale. We can change the X rotation, Y rotation, Z rotation, opacity, anything we want. So let's go ahead and say we want to zoom in a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and simply drag this to the right. And make sure it is still aligned in our frame. Just keep in mind, this is our frame and the, uh, the highlights around it is the video itself here. Once we're done, just click away and the effect has now been added. So if I go ahead and bring the cursor back to the front, press play, as you can see, it zooms in right here. Now I can also move the effect around, simply click and dragging it through my project line. And if I want to uh, create the effect slower or faster, I can simply select it once. And if I move the cursor uh, towards the right of the effect or towards the left, I'll get little arrows uh, indicating uh, the option to uh, extend it. And I can simply pull it out if say I wanted to make the effect a little bit longer or a little bit slower, last a bit longer. And from there, as you can see, it is a slower effect. So for example, in this uh, area right here, as you can see, I kind of scroll down uh, to my website uh, to the latest content section here. So let's say I want to add an effect to that. Say zooming in a little bit more on that. So let's go ahead and go back right there. So let's say, say I wanted to zoom in a bit on that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, select, the, select it right around there, right before I stop scrolling. I'm going to add another video action and increase the scale a little bit more. And then from here, we will center it again in the screen. Uh, of course, you can do this more precisely, but for now, just for demonstration purposes, I'll sort of quickly drag it in. And we'll extend the um, effect a little bit so it works a little bit nicer with the first one. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. So first, we have sort of a zoom into the homepage itself and then towards a specific area that I'm looking at. Now, of course, I also want to zoom out here. So let's go ahead and click on the video again. Add video action again, and we're going to go scroll back to a hundred percent here, and then we'll uh, drag it back into our frame. Make sure it is properly centered uh, in order for this to uh, you know properly work here. And then here, let's drag this out a little bit as well, and let's see what we have uh, just done here. So as you can see, by simply adding a few effects, as you can see, not only is the video more easier to follow because uh, this will work really well with narration, but it also looks nicer to have very smooth pans like this in your video here. Um, but there's of course many things we can do. What I just showed was a simple change in scale. Uh, you can get really creative with this. Like I said, you can change the opacity, uh, you can change the X rotation, the Y rotation, the Z rotation, right? You can, you can really do whatever you like and it will simply compile it and do it all in one effect as you can see. Um, of course, in this particular example, this is not useful. However, this just goes to show all the things you can do and all the awesome effects you can add in a very simple way with this program, uh, which is something I think that is great. And in a lot of my tutorials, I'll actually have multiple clips. Uh, however, that's for another tutorial and adding transitions between those two clips is very easy with simple video actions. Hopefully you guys learned something from this video and uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll have some more videos listed at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.